Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to get started using the Tumbling Jazz software. In this tutorial I'm quickly going to go through a few of the account management features you will find in the program. Um, you will notice the accounts control here, you will see it throughout the program. I'm currently on the view accounts tab. Um, double click and we'll see the email, the password and our blog name. Um, do note it's a blog name, it's not the URL. You don't enter http slash slash um, name dot tumblr dot com, only the blog name. If you want to open the blog, we can click the link here and that will open up. Um, we can also specify the daily limit. If you want to limit what your account can do per day, which is a good idea, um, we can specify here. So I can say do not follow no more than 100 users, even if I try to create multiple actions, it will never follow more than 100 users in a 24 hour period. Same with likes, with a 50 reblogs, 80 run follows. Um, if you want to filter out not safe for work um, searches and everything, check this button. By default, Tumbling Jazz is not safe for work. So if you want to make it safe for work, then you would check that option. Um, if you have changed your email or details here, you can click um, save and it will automatically try to log in. Or if you want to bypass that, you can uncheck validate on save. So we click save. Um, from the accounts control, you can see on the right click, we have a few options. And um, we can tag our accounts. So if you have many accounts, you can provide tags for them. Then you can filter the view here. So I want to filter out all accounts that are tagged root jazz. So I click filter out and our account has gone. If we had any accounts which did not have that tag, then they would still be appearing clear. They come back. Equally, I can filter in. So that removes any accounts from this list which do not have the tag root jazz. Um, this is just a way that you can, um, can manage your accounts. If you have a lot here, if you work in different um, niches and you want to keep them separate so you don't actually send perhaps um, a load of follows from your not safe for work accounts to your account which is promoting um, cats for example. Um, another way um, you can control and manage your accounts is to use the custom DB instances. What happens here is we can enter some keywords um, a happy one and a funny GIF website. So what happens here we will open five new instances of Tumbling Jazz. Each of them will work from a custom database. Um, the instances will not know anything about each other. You will not be able to do um, work on the accounts in from different instances. It's a complete separation of the work you want to perform. So you simply click OK. The program will tell you it's now opening, depending on the speed of your machine. All these instances will now open up. And just like when you install the program for the first time, you'll be prompted for um, license key and email. And so it just allows you to perhaps keep your accounts separated just to avoid any um, mistakes that you may make. Um, again, on the right click, we can set up um, custom tokens. Um, custom tokens is a way that we can specify any token that we want in the program. Um, this is a custom token. So if you are doing a reblog and you put token one, um, sorry, hash token underscore one hash, then it will, it will be replaced here. So perhaps if you are running many accounts and they all have a token one, um, you can then just set up a default um, meta description where you put in the token one and then they will all put in their custom token. 
So any any way that you may you may want to replace this, anything you may want to replace with tokens, you can do it com completely um, with a customized interface. Other functionality, um, you can set a blacklist. Um, the blacklist is a global blacklist for your account. If perhaps in the um, in the niche that your account is working with, um, there's a a term which might come up on a search but you definitely do not want to be reblogging, liking or following accounts with that. Um, when you come to follow an account or like a post or reblog a post, the page will be scanned. If your blacklisted word is found in that scan, then that item will be ignored. And there's no way to set it for tags, title, description. If the page contains the blacklisted word, that item is completely ignored. The final right-click functionality you might find useful if you have multiple accounts is the right-click and show combined stats. Here we can see the numbers we are following, um, all the data related to our account. You right-click, show combined, and it will just combine all the stats of your selected accounts. As I, as I only have one account here, it's not that useful. Um, so another way um, we can use our accounts is check our account and click scrape stats and that will just fire a background um, action which will update I don't know if you've noticed there we just updated a little bit here and here we can see the number we've followed in 24 hours likes in 24 hours so on and so forth um, finally relating to accounts on the update accounts tab we can specify a new avatar header image change the username custom HTML folder um, we can specify custom themes using the JSN format, G JSON, JSON format here. More help on the forum here. Quite an advanced feature, so I'm not going to go into it now. We can set the blog title, blog description. Set up our queue. Uh, is it not safe for work? Um, we can run some basic SEO on the theme. Um, set the time zone. And yeah that's how we can control our accounts okay i hope you found the tutorial useful um, do check out um, our other tutorials do come to the forum rootjazz.com slash forum um, post any questions issues suggestions you may have about the software um, do search um, probably your question might have already been answered um, if you don't find the answer do post it up um, don't worry about posting uh, multiple questions um, don't worry if you think your question is quite basic the more questions you add to the forum, the greater resource it becomes. Okay, thanks for watching.